Hello dear collectors and viewers. In today's video, I'm going to share my opinion on CSG grading that launched sometime in late 2020. I'm only going to state the facts that I see as a reseller because you can look at it from two angles, as a collector and as a collector who's also a reseller. If you're just collecting, honestly, there isn't much to look at other than the design on the slab, which I think is beautiful. I mean, both of them the old and the new one. And the quality of their plastic has to be the best because they're crystal clear. They're spotless and scratchless, unlike PSA and GMS labs, unfortunately. So, as a reseller, I have a few concerns. And in order to make my point, I'm going to discuss the following three items before I offer my conclusion. Number one, fees. Number two, the labels. And number three, the grading scale. Number one, fees. So initially when CSG launched, it started with a grading fee of $15 per card plus $10 for subgrades, which was optional. When I sent my first and only order to CSG last year, I had paid the initial grading fee of $15 per card plus $10 for the subgrades. Now in 2022, they have already increased the price to $20. That happened within one year of product launch. Now I know this $5 increase is not a big deal, but it is for some Canadian sellers because of the exchange rate. When you pay $20, we pay $25.35 in Canadian currency as of today's exchange rate. So I think this price rise did affect some sellers, not necessarily Canadian sellers, but maybe uh, globally, maybe even the sellers that are outside of North America. Number two, labels. Another change they made was the label that happened in less than two years. The design did not change, but the color changed. The text used to be white and now it is yellow. The borders were green and now they're black. Does the new slab look good? Sure, maybe better. But what does this change indicate? I think they're still trying to figure it out because they do not have a defined label yet. They're still trying to understand what the market demand is, what people want. They're trying to find out which label works the best for them. Now, when you're a mid-scale or a large-scale company, such frequent changes in such a short period of time does not give a good impression because it takes away the con confidence of the customers that are actually interested in the product. The third and the final point is the grading scale. It was an experience I had shared in my first CSG video that was uploaded in February 2022. So please feel free to check it out if you're interested in seeing the grades I received and the things I discussed. Their grading is extremely tough. Their gem mint rate is very low compared to any other company I can think of. So they introduced a new change to the grading scale where a 9.5 is no longer a gem mint because it is now called a mint plus like SGC. It has been replaced by gem mint 10 grade and there is an addition of pristine 10. From my first and only experience with CSG 
I learned that a 9.5 is like a lottery. So 10 looks far-fetched. What do these great changes explain to me? I think it means their initial grading scale was not working. So they had to make that change. And they discontinued the subgrading service that was costing an additional ten dollars. It was unnecessary to begin with because subgrades I think are the reason why BGS fell behind. So it means the feature is useless. It wasn't helping and nobody wanted it anymore. So CSG got rid of it entirely. Now, my conclusion. Do I doubt their credibility? Of course not. They've been a credible company in the collectibles market for a long time. When it comes to comics and coins, they are the ultimate grading company. So their reputation is impeccable in the collectibles market. Most importantly, CSG is currently the authentication partner of eBay which means huge potential in the long run. As a matter of fact, when the pandemic started, I thought CSG was my answer, due to PSA shutting down temporarily, and of course later the price increased to $50 for regular service. But I learned my lesson. After receiving my first order last year, and this year, after having seen these changes, it confirmed for me that CSG slabs are just not the right product for my business model, at least. I rely on Mint 9s and German 10s because that's how my business survives. And I'm sure many sellers would tell you the same. CSG is not a fully established company yet in terms of their target market and the market segments, in my opinion, because they have not earned that market recognition yet, because they came up with a reasonable fee of $15 per card only to raise it in six months. They were not sure about the label they were going to go with, so they changed it. They removed the, the subgrading service entirely and added new grades to the grading scale to make the grading even tougher. And all these changes were made in less than two years. So these multiple changes indicate they are still trying to find their identity because they are still experimenting, which suggests they are still in the early stage of research and development. They are still trying to find the right product the market wants. Therefore, as far as I'm concerned, I just don't see CSG as the perfect grading company. On top of that, their slab prices are not that great either. They do not have a high demand in the market at the moment. So, for resellers, flippers and investors, it is definitely not the number one option in my opinion. At least not at this time. With that being said, am I going to send cards to CSG for grading again? Maybe. Maybe if if I do not see any further changes in the next two years, meaning I might change my mind in 2024. When the name becomes permanent in the sports card market and only when they reach the level of PSA, SGC and BGS. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.